Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. And I'm probably gonna be doing some lessons for a while, so just as forewarning. Let's see what class I want to take. What have I been working towards? Ah, <laughs> uh, is that little at uh, lesson five? So let me do that. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. First, allow me to apologize for losing my composure during our last class. I was so touched by Brassius, Brassius's story that I simply couldn't contain my emotions. I'm sorry for making such a scene. I certainly got a very stern talking to from Miss Time after the class, yes. Anyway, let us shift gears and dive into the material for today's class. Now, now, have any of you heard of the Ten Sites of Paldia? As the name would imply, there are ten sites in the Paldia that are considered particularly beautiful. Among them, I would say that the Grand Olive Orchard is likely the most accessible. You can, you can see field after field of olive trees from hill, from the hill on the way to Cortondo. Two waterfalls are also counted among these ten sites, Fury Falls and Casarora Cass Falls. Then there's the peak at Glacado Mountain, known as Paldia's highest peak. There's another cliff on Glacado Mountain that's named after its rather unique shape. So let me ask you my students, what is the name of the three-pronged cliff on Glacado Mountain? No need to grasp at straws. Glacado's grasp? Exactly! It looks like a hand taking hold of something, doesn't it, Jeremy? The three-pronged cliff at Glacado Mountain is in fact known as Glacado's grasp. Though its shape is far too stub stubby to be that of a human hand, I imagine someone thought it looked like a Pokemon hand grabbing it, grabbing something. There's also the mountains in Area 3 of the East Providence. Uh, where you can get a good look at Levincia. It's particularly gorgeous at night. In fact, the view is so brilliant, it is known as the Million Volt Skyline. I hear it's quite a hotspot for dates, and deservedly uh, so for having such a romantic view. I imagine it's... What do the kids say these days? A very, ahem, fleek selfie spot. I don't think people say fleek. I'm pretty sure. I feel like that's an old term. Am I, am, I, am I wrong in saying that? I don't know. Of course, you may feel that it's not that not all the ten sites live up to their grandiose names. Grandiose names. I can. I, I almost got it. How often do we visit some tourist spot only to be disappointed? Not to say that you shouldn't visit them, only that you should keep your hopes in check. The important thing is to go yourself and see them with your own two eyes. And sometimes a disappointing experience can be worthwhile in its own way. Take a chance. Well that is, that's it for class today. Thank you for your attention. My throat is already dying. <laughs> that's a good sign. there another art? Yes, there is. How is there this many classes? Oh boy. Let's do art again. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. My my, how time flies, as they say. What, but where does the time go? Indeed, our time together has certainly flown by. It's hard to believe that this is our last class. Now, our topics for today may feel somewhat unrelated to art. But there is absolutely no set definition as to what art should be. Therefore, let us carry on with the discussion and see where it takes us. 
There are two things I wish to focus on today, ribbons and marks. Both ribbons and marks are special honors that capture a Pokemon's qualities. There will be times when your Pokemon gives maximum effort or has a noteworthy experience. In recognition of its feats and accomplishments, it can be given a ribbon. To give an example, if you manage to become incredibly close to a Pokemon, it may be granted the best friends ribbon. Incidentally, there is a person in Kaskarafa who can give your Pokemon a best friends ribbon. Marks, on the other hand, are mostly found on wild Pokemon when you meet them for the first time. They can symbolize the character of a Pokemon, such as with the Rowdy Mark or the Vigor Mark. It's completely up to luck whether you'll run into a Pokemon with these marks. So if you're able to catch a Pokemon with a mark, rejoice at your outstanding fortune. Does anyone want know what special thing you can do with Pokemon that have ribbons or marks? Uh, you can change their title? Wonderful, Jeremy. Your knowledge is impressive. The correct answer is that the uh, Pokemon with ribbons or marks can be given titles. What's more, they can be sent into battle displaying a title of your choosing. For example, you could send out Gibble with a best friend's ribbon by decla declaring, Go, Gibble the great friend. And while I know I just said them, that marks are generally found already on Pokemon when you meet them for the first time, it seems that more recently Pokemon can be awarded certain marks based on their efforts. These are marks such as the Gourmand mark, the item finder mark, and uh, the partner mark, and so on. Perhaps it might be fun to, to work out how to get each mark using its name as a clue. Well, that just about wrap. Well, that just about wraps up our last class. Next is the final exam. Please review our material closely so that you may pass on your first try. Wow, we're actually going to be done with the class. And all the other classes have to be <laughs> gone, gone through still. It's fine. Let's see how we can do with the test. Although I don't know. No, it is there. Cool. I was worried it might not be here until we did more stuff. Let's see if I can, can remember anything. What, am I to what was I talking about? I don't know. I do hope you're all ready because it's, it is time for your final exam. Focus and do your best. And begin. What is the name of the restaurant where you can change your Pokemon stereotype? Uh, the Treasure Eatery. What is the name of Brassius's signature art in Installation that we discuss in class. The surrendering. Surrendering Sunflora. How many waterfalls are counted among the ten sites of Palia? Oh, uh, two. Two? I feel like there's more than that, but two. Where can you find the million vault skyline? Uh, Lavincia. The marks are. Pokemon ha has our present when you meet first meet and none can be added later. I th think that's true. Time's up. That's it for today's test. Pencils down, please. Thank you all so much for learning about art with me. The time we shared has left a mark that I will treasure, I promise. And it is my sincere wish that all of you go on to even greater, more prosperous futures. And that's that. Good work, everyone. You can receive your results from the front desk. Okay, let's see how I did. I wish it would tell me which ones I'd fail. I don't think it does, though. Feels great to get a test out of the way. Let's look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exams. And four questions correct to pass the final exams. Let's see you did on your test. Four out of five, okay. It's not gonna tell me which one I got wrong, but okay. Passing score, congratulations. Mr. Hassel asks us to give this reward to any students who pass the exam. Five XP candies M. 
I put that in the pile that I have because I also did some off-screen collection collecting of uh, XP candies, as you can see. <laughs> 22, 71, 103, 29. That's pretty good. I'm not going to use them right now, but I will. Now, let's see what else I can look at, because I'd like to get through more of this. Let's have a look at home etiquette. Put away your phones, it's time to begin class. In my class, I taught about HP restoration. However, after class, I was asked by several of you, you about PowerPoints, commonly known as PP. When a Pokemon loses all of its HP and faints, it can no longer battle. What then happens to a Pokemon when it loses all of its PP? Uh, it can't use moves. Perfectly correct, Master Jeremy. Perhaps you know this form from first-hand experience. When a Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use its moves. However, each move of its own uh, store of, has its own store of PP. So you can imagine so you can, you can mitigate PP loss by using a variety of moves rather than just one move repeatedly. Pokemon loses all its all PP for all of its moves. It will only be able to strug use struggle, an action that also damages the Pokemon that uses it. In order to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored at Pokemon centers along with HP. Items such as ethers and max ethers can also be used to restore PP. Be careful not to confuse potions with ethers in the heat of battle. However, ethers are not sold at shops, so you should use them. Uh, uh, Judiously, if you find them. The stronger the move, the lower its maximum PP. Do not waste... Why are they all moving at the, in rhythm? <laughs> Do not waste users of these moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. It is important to find balance in Pokemon sets, sets of moves. It's so weird that they're moving in sync. As you can see, HP isn't the only thing you must keep an eye on while adventuring with Pokemon. Hope that you all take care to ensure that your Pokemon partner Pokemon can perform at their best as you each engage in the treasure hunt. Our time together has come to an end for today. Our next meeting will be an examination day. Be sure to review well in pre preparation. Oh boy, I get to see if I remember things <laughs> that I don't remember. Probably. I might know things. I can probably half guess things. Okay. Home etiquette midterm. The time has come to test how well you have learned here in my class. Let's begin before the information simmering, simmering in your brains for from a last minute cram, cram session fades. I agree. Which is not an effective uh, picnic meal. Increasing speed? No. I don't... Drink poison I think is not one of those things. Probably. Which of the following effects uh, the kinds of meal powers received from a particular, particular meal? Uh, <laughs> those are some great options. Fillings and condiments. Number of people eating. The color of utensils. Uh, it's definitely the number of people eating. Also known as filling and co fillings and com condiments. Which of these berries can restore Pokemon's HP? Orange berry, I'm pretty sure. Leandro wanted the, his Pokemon to decide it's uh, on its own. Went to use its item in battle, so he gave an, it an Iron Barry. This will work as he hopes. Yes. If you move, if a move runs out of PP, it can no longer be used. If a Pokemon runs out of power points for all of its moves, it can only sit there in frustration. False. 
The time for answering questions has come to an end. Please stop writing. I hope you are all able to give the examination everything you had. Please remember to ask for your scores at the front desk before leaving for the day. Wow, this is taking a while. <laughs> it's, it just takes time. Which is probably a good thing so I can actually learn, but still. Need three questions to pass. Four questions for the final exams. We got four out of five. I don't know what I've got wrong. <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll never know. We get five XP Kenny's ass. Keep doing your best. Okay. Well, let's go on to Home Etiquette 4. Put away your phones, it's time to begin class. Though, so, some of you had to retake the midterm exam, exam multiple times. I'm glad to say that the majority of the class passed without issue. I felt honored to see that the knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life haven't taken root. Or have taken root in all of you. It's fine. I trust that you will all work just as hard on your life skills in the second half of, the, of our course as well. Let us, uh, let us turn to our, turn our attention to the topic of the day, which was inspired by a question I received on the subject of meal powers. The student who asked this question is a young man who enjoys the culinary arts. Culinary arts. Uh, he tells me that he regularly researches col culinary techniques on his own and pays careful attention to the ingredients he uses. He also spends day and night studying all aspects of the culinary arts. Yet despite this, he is baffled by his inability to increase the effect effectiveness of his meal powers. So tell me, Master Jeremy, since you did quite well in your midterm exam, what should, uh, ah, uh, I mean, ahem, this young man do to increase the effectiveness of his meal powers? Uh, oh, Arvin? <laughs> that's the, that's not the correct way to answer this question. Ah! Ah, uh, he should make food more often? I don't think that's the case. I think he, it, do, does it do more stuff if you're with other people? I don't know. I'm tempted to go with Arvin, to be honest. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> He should make food with other people. Perfectly correct. I see that you are knowledgeable about the col culinary arts. I had no idea, but that was my best guess. Also, there's Arvin over there. <laughs> to increase the effectiveness of meal powers, your sandwiches must be filled with many different ingredients. For a single person, this may prove dis difficult. Okay, this is, this is not exactly the way I thought this was going to go. <laughs> but I guess it's an option. <laughs> But if you prepare a sandwich with others, you will be able to handle a larger serving of bread. With a larger base to start with, it becomes quite simple to add more ingredients to your sandwich. Which in turn makes it possible to receive meal powers of increased effectiveness. This applies more broadly as well when dealing with a difficult issue. Working with others to solve that issue may be the best course of action. I'm sure that Arvin will likewise work with friends to craft his sandwiches in the future. Ahem. <coughs> the identity of the male student is no matter of privacy, I so I'd ask you to uh, not pry too deeply. <coughs> anyway, our time together has run, come to an end today. Bid you all farewell. Uh, I gotta go. Well, that's a shame for him because I'm dragging him back into the classroom with me so we can learn together about the true identity of the person in question. And also just probably learn more. You know, that thing that I'm trying to do and get all these lessons done. There's still so many. <laughs> I didn't, haven't even done most of the midterms yet. <laughs> I'm leaving it all to the last minute. That sounds like a lot of learning experiences that people have had. 
While you're out performing fieldwork with one of your Pokemon walking alongside you, have you ever noticed changes in its color coloration? Co co coloration? Now I don't mean that it suddenly becomes a shiny Pokemon or any nonsense like that. Okay, good. I'm speaking of it becoming filthy. I have not noticed this at all, ever. I'm this far into the game and I've not noticed. Pokemon battle, they get hurt by moves used against them. They get battered by a wind and rain. They get covered in sand and mud. They get, in a word, filthy. Just like you, <laughs> points to Arvin. <laughs> I have seen many a trainer walking about with their adorable little Pokemon without addressing the issue. this issue. It is deplorable. Right, Arvin? Let me ask this question of someone who I am sure would not tolerate such a shame, such shameful conduct. Ah yes, Master Jeremy. Much better than Arvin. What should you do if your Pokemon is dirty? Pat it on the head, nothing. Clean it up. Perfectly correct, I knew I could count on you to provide me with such an answer. When your Pokemon are dirty, clean them. This is, of course, simply common sense. While you are having a picnic, you can approach the Pokemon on your team and perform a variety of actions. One such, such action is putting them through what I like to call the Pokemon Wash. In other words, you are able to clean them up. Where does the water come from when you wash them? Hang on, it's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, you start by getting your sponge, lathering up with soapy bu bubbles uh, as you gently and carefully scrub your Pokemon. Once your Pokemon is nice and covered in soapy bubbles, the bubbles will encapsulate the filth. Then you uh, simply wash it away with a spray of water from an unknown source. <laughs> Maybe there's just like shower heads just in the bushes somewhere, like everywhere. <laughs> just in the grass, connected to the ground. It's the, the regional washing system or something <laughs> like that. Clean, this is the cleanest world, this is the cleanest continent in Pokemon. This will get your Pokemon clean and shining, bright as a Terror Jewel. It is certainly quite a bit of work, but this will also restore HP and cure status conditions. Why is this not something I knew uh... <laughs> It's fine. I mean, I've not really had to worry about it that much. I haven't been picnicking to save me from dying, so... However, some Pokemon ha may have their parts, ha may have parts of their bodies that they wa don't want scrubbed or that they would rather not get wet. Be sure to keep this in mind when cleaning your Pokemon. Now, the most important point that I must mention is that some Pokemon like to be dirty. Oh my goodness, this is complicated. <laughs> Though I will contradict myself by saying this, please do remember that cleaning your Pokemon is not always the thing, the kind of thing to do. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Okay, we're getting slightly further into the lessons. Slowly. Let's do some more. How many other classes are there? One, two, three, four, five. There's five other classes that I haven't worked on yet. I'm still working on the second one that I've been working on so far in this session. And I was working on the other one that I was working on this session last time as well. Well, let's go to the, the last lesson of Home Etiquette then. I can really understand why you would not want to do all these lessons. Home economics is the study of life's necessities, but looking back on our time together, I realize that I focus entirely on food. <laughs> not a bad thing. I hope it's not too late to shift to a discussion of clothing. Another necessity. Is it? Why is it a necessity? In our last class, as I'm sure you are aware, our academy has uh, an air of freedom about it. We provide uniforms for each season to accommodate the diverse climate of Paldia. However, students are free to wear whichever style they wish whenever they please. You should all have received four sets of tops and bottoms, from uh, one each for spring, summer, fall, 
And winter, when the Academy accepted you. British words. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like... I feel like... I don't know. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's kind of all-inclusive. If by chance you were not aware of this, you may wish to... Pursue... Peruse? Peruse. It's hard to figure out what the pronunciation of a word is because it's like there are several different versions that it could be. Peruse your wardrobe. As long as you wear our school uniform, the rest of your ens ensemble need not be school issued. This includes your bag or your hat, if you choose to wear one. You are even free to style your hair however you wish. Mr. Salvatore's hairstyle, for example, would almost certainly have been against school rules when I was a boy. That reminds me. There is one more thing I... Yeah, uh, you should... There is one more thing you all like to decorate, which I must say, I find quite charming. Rotom phones? Perfectly correct. That's a, the adorable little thing I was speaking of. Oh, if you interest me so. I must admit that I am fascinated by Rotom phones and how to customize them. That, uh, what's that? How very intriguing. So there's a shop called Delibird Presents, where you can purchase cases for your Rotom phones. I thank you for that useful bit of information. I shall get have to go myself first thing tomorrow to get an adorable case of my own liking. What kind of class is this? You are, you're, you're the one who's learning. Forgive me, I have seem to have gotten a little carried away in, with this small talk. Ahem, as this class is... N Class known as Home Economics nears its end, I offer these final words to you, who have been honouring everyday life skills with me. My field of study is not so decisive as the likes of mathematic, ma ma <laughs> as the likes of mathematics, for instance, where test scores might p play a part in deciding your future. However, as you go on to cook for yourselves, to take care of your Pokemon, to decide what to wear in the morning when you awaken, I would be honoured. If what, I, what, if what I have taught you serves to soothe them out your, and enrich your lives, even if only a little. This sentiment was imparted to me by Mr. Hassel and his particular outlook on such matters. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for seeing this class through to the end. Our time together has come to a close for today. Prepare to do your best on our, our final exam. My poor throat is dying. <laughs> After only half an hour of doing... T learning... in the lessons, and we still have... more than half of the classes to go. <laughs> basically. <laughs> I mean, probably not quite that much, but half of the, the different subjects to go. In just this sec sec segment that I'm working on. Let's do this test. The time has come to test how well you have learned in my class. Let's begin before the information simmering in your brains from a last minute cram session fades. Why is the, where's the S coming from? I don't know. Which of the following meal powers makes it easier to access a conquer shiny Pokemon? Ah, uh, probably sparkling power. Which of the following is not an effect of egg power? Ah, uh, helps hatch strong Pokemon. It makes... Yeah. B. It helps hatch strong Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's a lie. Maybe? I don't remember this lesson, so I don't know. What is a simple yet important tactic for increasing the effectiveness of meal powers? Ah, uh, make food with others. What is the correct action to take when your adorable Pokemon becomes dirty? Pokemon Wish. Pokemon Dash. Pokemon Wash. This is a question about Academy rules. Should you change your uniform tops and bottoms to properly match each season? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, I'm pretty sure. The time for answering questions has come to an end. Please stop writing. 
I made the questions a little easier than I'd planned to do too. As a way of saying thank you for informing me about Rotom phone cases. But what about the one that I had no idea about, the egg power? I don't remember that at all. I trust that you all gave this exam everything you had so that you would not have to retake it. Please remember to ask for your scores at the front desk before leaving for the day. There's no way I'm retaking a class. <laughs> There's no way I'm retaking a class just to find out what I got wrong. Even redoing the exam is a bit... Feels like too much work. Five out of five! Cool. I guess that means I learned. And we get five XP Kenny's M. Keep doing your best.